Okay, so here's the question today. Find the zeros of 2 sine 2x sine x minus 3 cosine x is equal to 0 on the interval 0 to pi. Well, uh, thank God that the person who asked me to solve this problem said, show me how to do this on my, on my CX, on my uh, TI Inspire CX. So that's what I'm going to do, if you don't mind. So let's take a look at that. So this is what I'd like to do. I'd like to take a look at this equation here. I'm just going to type it in. And here's some important stuff about how you have to type this thing in. So it's 2 sine x. Remember that you have got to put this into parentheses. 2x. Then it was sine x again. Sine x. In parentheses. If you don't, your calculator won't understand what you're asking you to do. Minus. Michael, I can't believe you asked me this question. 3. Cosine x. Remember, in parentheses. So it's, get a look at this thing. It's horrible looking mess isn't it so the first thing I did was take a look at it to see if it was going to be an easy solution it's not so what I did was I went back to my calculator and I just I redid my window you see the window here is from negative 10 to positive 10 I'm going to make my window from 0 to pi I think so I'm just going to go to menu I'm going to go to window window setting I'm going to put it from 0 there's lots of ways to do this you can do it this way you can clear this out you can use this pi button right here, or if you want to, you can type in the word pi, pi. So you can type in pi. Your calculator does recognize that pi. Hit OK. So there it is. It makes it a little bit more manageable. So we see that this function on the interval that we're talking about, zero to pi, has exactly two zeros. Does it? Has three. One, two, three zeros. So it gives us a little bit more to do. So let's take a look at this. Going to go back to menu on my calculator. Going to go to analyze graph. The first choice is zeros. And all you have to do is this. It says lower bound. When it asks for a lower bound, it asks you to pick a zero and to pick some x value lower than that, lower than that zero. So here's one here. And you can see I captured it. As soon as I went past it, I captured it. So it pressed for my upper bound. There's one right there. I'm going to just repeat this exercise again and again. I'm going to go back to Analyze Graph, choose zeros. <clears throat> Remember here it says lower bound, so I'm going to look for some value lower, x value lower than the zero. I think the zero is in here somewhere. Here. There's the zero right there, 1.57. And I'm, of course, going to do this one more time, Michael, because it shows up three times. So I'm going to analyze the graph, go to zeros. Lower bound means the x value lower than the zero. Again, move, slide over with your cursor. To a value greater than that, hit enter, and there are your three zeros. Man, that was a pretty good problem. Um, there's another way to do that, and I'm going to show it to you on another video where you can use the solve function of your calculator. But in this case, it just graphed out so easily, I thought this might be a better way to do that. So, hope this was really helpful to you. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, and don't, if you don't mind, like this video, please.